So now the, now the real data. In this first panel, the line that's highlighted in blue is our baseline run times. We have no power going into the HHO cell, no passive load, and therefore no mechanical load on the output of the horsepower. The runtime average is 11 minutes 40 seconds, and I, my average exhaust temp was 785 degrees. Based on it taking 11 minutes and 40 seconds to consume 3 ounces of fuel, that's 0 0.2571 ounces of fuel used per minute with no load on the motor. The next two lines of data I recorded for Smart Scarecrow because he wanted to see what the data might look like based on uh, a relative comparison to a cell operating on a much larger displacement engine. So we only ran uh, the VSPB cell at 5 amps. The first test was 5 amps passive load on the engine without re-injecting the HHO back into the engine. We had roughly one-sixth horsepower mechanical load and our runtime dropped to 10 minutes 54 seconds. On the third line, you can see where we re-injected the HHO back into the engine. Now, it's not a mistake that I only got 125 milliliters per minute of HHO gas for the 5 amps that I was putting into it. It was only 1.61 mmW, and this is due to the internal current leakages of my aging cell and the nonlinear characteristics of potassium hydroxide. Uh, electrolyte when you apply an electrical current to it. So this is the real figure and when we ran that uh, we got back only about five seconds of run time but it was measurable and it was very consistent. On the fourth line what we have is a 30 amp passive load or one mechanical horsepower load on the output shaft of the internal combustion engine with no HHO being re-injected. Uh, the average runtime dropped from 11 minutes 40 seconds to 8 minutes 56 seconds. This resulted in an increase of used fuel in ounces per minute to 0 0.3333 or one-third ounce per minute. This is how I derived 0 0.0762 ounces per minute per horsepower load applied to the output shaft of the engine. Taking that number and dividing it into the no load fuel consumption rate of 0 0.2571 results in 3.374 horsepower worth of fuel being consumed by the four-stroke engine just to keep itself running. On the fifth line, we still have a 30 amp load, or one horsepower mechanical, on the output shaft of the engine, but we're taking all of the HHO and re-injecting it into the carburetor, which resulted in a runtime of 9 minutes and 24 seconds, a gain of 28 seconds in runtime, just by re-injecting the HHO back into the engine with no adjustments made to the carburetor to adjust for the presence of HHO. On the last line, we have the same 30 amp load or one mechanical horsepower being applied to the engine. All of the HHO is re-injected, but this time the mixture is optimized for the presence of HHO. I'd also like to note that the motor stalls immediately without HHO being re-injected at this mixture setting. In this instance, the runtime elevated to 10 minutes and 49 seconds. That means that we got back 69% of the lost runtime by reintroducing the HHO and optimizing the mixture for the presence of HHO despite the fact that we have only a 34% total power conversion efficiency from the output shaft of the engine to the creation of the HHO. That's double, double the amount of return on our, on our investment. Based on that number, without making any other changes to the system, I would say that a 8 mmw or greater cell with no other change to the system 
should be able to produce a total net gain. Other conclusions that I can now confidently make as a result of these experiments is that engines can run very lean and safely in the presence of enough HHO. The key word is enough HHO. B. All things being equal, no changes in the mixture or timing, HHO does lower exhaust temps 20 to 25 degrees and reduces the fuel consumption slightly. C. With only small gains in electrical and electrochemical conversion efficiencies and with the mixture and timing changes to leverage HHO, a net gain should be achievable at lighter loads. D. The tiny cells being used on full-sized automotive gasoline engines now are a joke. Trickle amounts of HHO do not and will not cut it. Real gains can only be achieved with real amounts of HHO.